All right, guys, today we're going to make some liver and onions. Now, I know liver and onions sounds kind of weird or nasty to some people because humans basically only eat muscle meat. Every meat that people normally eat, that's muscle meat. Organ meat's actually good for you, and it doesn't really taste bad. It actually tastes good if you cook it right. So we're going to go ahead and make some liver and onions here. You're going to need some liver. I've got beef liver. Need some onions. Mine was frozen. I keep my vegetables sometimes in the freezer. They'll last longer, so I kind of just rip mine up. If yours is not frozen, go ahead and slice it up however you like. It doesn't really matter the shape or the pieces, but if you want to make it look nicer, you can cut it into rings or whatever you like. Going to need some salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, some lemon juice, some garlic, and some butter. So the first thing we're going to do is just season our meat. We'll just season it on one side for now because it's a really juicy meat. So we'll season the other side when it's on the grill. So just some salt and pepper on one side so far. And now we're going to head over to the grill, or actually the stove, to start cooking it. Alright, so here we are at the stove and the first thing we're going to do is add in about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter. Get that going. Into that mix. Oh, if I can get this off. Try not to let your butter burn too much before you get everything else in. It's okay though, a little caramelized is fine. So get our butter going in there. Into there we're going to throw our onions. As well as some garlic. Just about a clove of chopped up garlic. Get that mixed it all around. And you want to cook this until your onions are kind of soft. You don't want to burn your onions. You just want to cook it around and get your onions soft. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up cooking up my onions here. And then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so my onions are done here. They're softened up. You don't want to cook them for super long and burn them. You just want to kind of soften it all up. So my onions are all soft now. And I'm going to go ahead and scoop them out with a slotted spoon because you don't want to empty and clean out this pan. You just kind of want to get everything out but leave as much uh, juice and a little bit of garlic in there. Now with our pan still on high heat, we're going to take our liver and remember we season the top so we're going to put this in, season side down. Now we're going to cook this for about three minutes on each side. Okay, we're almost ready to flip and actually, right when you flip, right when you put them in, you can season the opposite side here. I didn't do it right away, but before you flip it, go ahead and season the other side with some salt and pepper. And we're just about ready to flip here, it's been a couple minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over here. Look at that. Almost looks like a steak. Alright. Go ahead and let this cook for another three minutes on this side. Alright guys, now it's cooked for about three minutes on each side, but as you can see, we have a little bit of juice coming up. That's actually fine, you don't have to get rid of that, but if you're worried about the red juice, you think, oh no, it's bloody or something, you can go ahead before we take it off here and just flip it back just for a second. That's not burned, that's charred on flavor actually. That's going to be really good. You could cook it a tiny bit less on this side if you like. So I just went ahead and flipped it back over just to get that red stuff done. And it's gone now. So now we're going to take out our liver and leave everything else in the pan. You're still going to have some flavoring in there. We're going to add in now a little bit of water to this pan. A little bit of Worcestershire. Turn your heat down right now too, right when you're adding in this stuff. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. and a little bit of lemon juice. Now mix this all up and let it kind of cook down just a little bit. This is just going to kind of turn into a little bit of a sauce here. So let that cook down a little bit and then we'll go and check out our next step. Alright guys, so I moved the, uh, the heated plate here don't really put plates on the stove here, not the best idea really. Go ahead and take your liver pieces now. Of course if you're serving you know, one to each person, you would you know, serve one on a plate. Put your onions over it.
And then we have that sauce we mixed up. It's really just a liquidy, flavorful sauce. And we're just going to pour a little bit on here. You don't want to douse it. Pour a little bit of the sauce on here to give it some extra flavor and it tastes real nice. So there you have it guys, liver and onion, made at home, and honestly guys, I know, it, like I said, it's really weird for some people to eat liver, but it's actually good for you, you know, humans most of the time only eat muscle meat, like I said, organ meat's actually really good for you, and if you make it right, it tastes really good, it's, you know, it's got a different flavor than a steak or something, but it actually turns out tasting really good. So there we have it guys, have any questions, let me know, keep cooking, and we'll see you guys next time.